Hello, it's Karen. And Ruth. Hello. Hello, happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Every day is a Tuesday. And it's damp. <laughs> <laughs> but we, we don't care. They're reckoning on there might be some summer coming at the end of next week in some parts of the UK. Yeah, that means it's never going to happen. Exactly. We don't care. It's the same tale every summer. We don't care. No. So today, darling... Yes? We're at the beauty salon. Well, I can see that. Because we need a bit of a trim, wouldn't you say? (laughs) Definitely, I do. (laughs) Do you know, it's true, I do. But anyway... Yes, and why are we at the beauty salon, you might ask? Well... So we can be pretty. Yeah! Do you know who else likes to be pretty? Ooh, let me think. Well, let me show you something first. Okay. So, one of our lovely viewers... Aussie Bree! And dear friends... Woo! Woo! ...left this comment. This is only half the comment, but this is the pertinent bit of the comments, which is... And it's regarding Chantal. Chantal! Chantal. Meryl. Meryl. Right. And she said, seriously, if you can be fudged, which I understand you probably won't, well, we did. Oh, well, Karen did. (laughs) Drag up the video where stupid ear, Chantal, tells her audience that you can get away with anything if you're pretty or words to that effect. Aha, thank you for that. Hence, why we're at the beauty salon. So we can get away with more. Because we'll be pretty. Pretty Prettier, darling. And that's called pretty privilege. Wow. Something that Chantal believes she has. How fabulous. Yeah. Have we got any proof of that, Karen? Oh, well, yeah. Uh Uh-huh. Number one, I'm pretty, okay? That has a lot, and I I don't mean that to be conceited. I'm being very matter-of-fact. Being pretty gets you a lot of privilege. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, you can get away with a lot if you're pretty. That's where we've gone wrong all these years. But did you notice, I'm sure she said pretty three times. (laughs) I tell you, I've seen the Wishmaster. I mean, Beetlejuice. Maybe she thinks it's come true then. I've got to, um, I'm not down with it yet because she doesn't strike me as pretty. However, I'm sure you've got some evidence to support it. Well, we're going to sh- I'm going to show you and our lovely audience the effects of having pretty privilege. Lovely, lovely. Let's begin. Thank you. Baby and I decided to break up. Now, one would think, with pretty privilege, nobody would want to break up with you, really. One would have thought, Karen. I can't imagine what went wrong there. Perhaps it was a mutual parting of the ways, you know, like with Chubster and nobody. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Correct. I think that was the narrative she was trying to convey. However, given that it seems this relationship... Uh, was fini three weeks after she had a hysterectomy. One has to wonder, not only had she had a hysterectomy, ergo, BB had no chance of having children with her. Yeah, and he did want children. He did, and she did go on to say that I understand he'll want kids and I'm not going to hold him back. Yeah. But also, she cheated on him, of course. Quite a few times, as it turned out. Yes, yes, I do recall. I also recall he worked full time while she sat, ate lots of food and um, used to hide pizza boxes and the flat got infested with cockroaches. Well, that's all part of being pretty. Oh. That's why she was saying, when you're pretty, you can get away with stuff. Right. So it it was nothing to do with that. It must have just been... Well, no, she got away with living like a pig because she's pretty. Yes. A pretty pig. I sort of get it. Yeah? Are you you getting with the programme now? (laughs) Not really. How how this pretty privilege works. No. Show me another example, Karen. All right, then. 
my roommate kissed me last night. What happened? Uh, like my roommate got really drunk. <laughs> like she got super drunk. Oh, I'm okay now. <sighs> Because you're drunk. <laughs> you have absolutely no fucking impulse control or sense. Oh. Um, but yeah, she has, she had no memory of most of last night. Yeah, she, yeah, she sexually harassed me, yep. Oh, God have mercy on his soul. <laughs> I mean... I, I do believe Pete's is a strange fellow. You can see why. Well, yeah. Oh, my. <gasps> and look, at he had no chance of escape. No, well, she just descended on him. And, and there was a lot of snot prior yeah. to that. Did you notice? Uh, still, uh, still. <laughs> pretty pretty. <laughs> you see, when you're pretty, this is what you can do. Right. You could just pounce on unsuspecting fellows. With snot running down your nose. Yeah, and slobber all over them. <laughs> and hang the consequences because you're pretty. Throw caution to the wind, as it were. Yeah. Good now, God. We're not detracting away from the fact that it was a there was a degree of SA going on there. <laughs> a degree. Let's it, not, you know, come on, make yourself, any bones about it. Put yourself in his position, Karen. What? Well, what I, would you? I'd have run screaming from the house. You would have. Yeah. You would have. I'd have come round to see you. You'd have been <laughs> out the door, and you've had some funny girlfriends. You'd have been out the door before she got to the bed. I think. Well, yeah. If that. Sort of comes lumbering towards you, you, you know, and you lay flat on your back. You start to get your skates on, yeah, isn't it? That's a fearsome sight. That is. <laughs> yeah, that'd make everything shrivel up. See, <laughs> 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 so, yeah, yeah. But still, pretty privilege gets you everywhere. Absolutely, yeah. You can just do what you like. <laughs> I really need to make a T-shirt, like. I did all this shit for you for seven months and all I got was gonorrhea. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a friends with benefits situation? <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't entirely seem like a good deal, does it? <laughs> I'll pay you once a cash and you just give me an STG. <laughs> I'm a bit familiar with the STD story. It's not a pretty one. No, but... She had t a terrible throat for a long time, is all I'm saying. Well, it matched the uh, pipe burn on the face, didn't it, at the time? Oh. That's uh, where pretty privilege gets you. Well, hey. Picking up stray pipes off the floor. Yeah. And having a green wiener. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Uh, yeah, I don't think any more needs to be said. No, there you go. It was great, this being pretty. Uh, I, I wouldn't call it a privilege. Well, number one, she's not pretty. But number two, she thinks she's pretty and she somehow thinks all well, this is a privilege. No, being pretty is a privilege because it makes you privileged to get gonorrhea. <laughs> As opposed to some old crone like, like me, never having had gonorrhea in my life. I haven't lived. <laughs> I suspect you have, but a tad more cleanly. <laughs> I thought you meant, I suspect you have had gonorrhea. <laughs> I have lived, but not quite so close to the... Uh, not so vicariously. <laughs> No, no, not so close to the wind. <laughs> sensible. I said some very, I said some horrible things. Got a anger, and that really hurt him. I know he doesn't love me anymore. I don't know what to do about it. Like I don't know how to deal with the emotion. I usually just go alive. 
<laughs> Is she talking about floppy tits, birthing hips, scatman, husband before they were married? Yes, I do believe so. Oh, so there were issues. There were issues. Well, here's the thing. She thought because she's got pretty privilege, she can be rude to somebody. Oh. And they'll just say, ah, oh, well, you're pretty, so it doesn't matter. Aha. Unfortunately, that plan seemed to backfire somewhat. But he did marry her in the end because she's pretty. Well, it was the biggest make-up in history. Aha. aha. However... I don't think he married her because she's pretty. Do you think so? No, Karen. no. Call it suspicious. Conspiracy theory. Whatever. Whatever. I, I just have a feeling in my gut he didn't marry her because she's pretty. I think he might have done because she was on camera. She was in Canada. Her being a native of Canada, you know, Canadian. Things as, as natives of Canada are, uh, yeah. yeah. And um, <laughs> she, he's in Q8 and he's not a citizen of Q8 because he's Syrian. Syrian. Uh, so, obviously, and she was earning quite well. She told him she was earning quite a bit of dosh. Well, she was then, and so it must have been because she was pretty. That's it, yeah, yeah. It was nothing to do with him wanting to be in Canada. <laughs> Or getting pots of money. I'd never even thought of that. It was a true romance, darling. True, true. Yes. All part of the pretty privilege. It's fabulous. Except in this one instance, it didn't go quite to plan. Did it not? No, because he said, I don't love you. <laughs> or he said, I don't love you. <laughs> no, he said, I don't love you. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Oh, I know, I like that. <laughs> and that's what happened. That's what happened, yeah? <laughs> he fucking cheated on me. He admitted it today. He was talking to... In a sexual way. With... <laughs> fucking... <laughs> you're a trashy whore. I hope you know that. And what you did will come back to you a thousand. You'll never find it love. You'll never find a man. Yeah, what the fuck? Thank you so much. Oh, he just messaged me that. Good, you deserve it. You deserve everything. You deserve more than that. Oh, he's mad that I'm outing him. I'm never, ever, 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 fuck men. I'm done. I'm done. Now, correct me if I'm wrong here, but this pretty privilege doesn't seem to go down very well with the men folk. No. She's not had a great deal of success with it, has she? No, because, you know, I, I can't look into their marriage or what goes on behind closed doors but I do get a bit of a vibe that there are problems there. Do you think so? A little bit of a vibe mm. just a bit. It seems to me that pretty privilege makes you unwanted and angry a lot of the time. Yeah and the, there's the gonorrhea. Oh well there's the gonorrhea. Yeah. And uh, yeah 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 and the fact that none of these men folk wanted your love. No. For all your pretty privilege. Yeah. So. Stills keep slapping the old red lipstick on and. Yeah. I've got a tip for her though. Go on. Pull your big fat head out of your big fat ass. Stop with the pretty privilege. Yeah. And just get on with it, love. No you, one cares. You see, this is an example. As she's tipped over to the other side and there's no coming back. She's gone. Delulu. Yeah. Oh, it's more than Delulu. It's completely drenched in sanity, darling. Absolutely. Absolutely. She needs to get on little blue tablets or something. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Well, let's go and get our hair done, darling. Let's. Because we need to be pretty, <laughs> but we don't need to be privileged. No, no. We'll just be pretty and we'll say nothing about it to anybody. No. Thank you very much for the suggestion, Ozzy. Yes, that was good fun. It's lovely that some of your messages do stay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, because a lot of them tend to get robbed by... Whoa. Oh, even Toffee's agreeing. Yeah. Yeah. 
It's obviously it's, saying it's very wrong of YouTube to do that. Yeah, because I can't understand what about Ozzy's posts would upset anybody. Can you, darling? Well, it seems to me that our Aussie viewers in general tend to get a lot of their comments removed. Oh. Just saying. Perhaps they're just not pretty enough. That's what it is. They've yeah. not got pretty privilege. Get some red lipstick out, you yeah. berate. Come on, you Aussie girls. You can do better. <laughs> we love you all, though. <laughs> we do. Right. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining us. And have a lovely evening, uh, afternoon. We'll... Night. We'll talk to you soon. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Bye.